What's up guys, it's Chris from All About The Galaxy Beam. I decided to do this video because uh, I get several questions all the time, especially from people that buy the Beam 2, the Samsung Galaxy Beam 2 project the smartphone from me, um, how they can change um, the language of the phone or how they can uh, get rid of Chinese uh, messages, notifications popping up. So uh, I decided to finally do a video to show you how you can um, change partly at least the language of your phone, how you can get rid of the Chinese notifications and the third thing I'm going to show you how you can change the keyboard language. Okay, so let's get started. I assume that you already rooted your phone and that you installed Google Play services and replaced the super user, the vroot with the super user app. If you did not do that, please have a look into the video description below. I will put you the tutorial video that I did uh, for how to root, uh, install Google Play services and um, install Super Use app on the Samsung Galaxy Beam 2. So please, if you didn't do that, follow my uh, tutorial first and then come to this video. Okay, so this is basically, you can say this could be a continuation of the tutorial that I just mentioned. So, um, when you uh, install, um, when you choose the language on your Samsung Galaxy Beam 2, um, you can choose between English, Korean and Chinese. If you choose English, it can happen um, that the phone comes with bloatware. Well, that's very likely actually, it's always the case, so to speak. Um, and the thing is with the bloatware, um, Chinese, uh, the bloatware are Chinese apps, okay? Um, and some other apps, but uh, the problem with those Chinese pre-installed apps is that you get pop-ups, uh, Chinese pop-ups, Chinese notifications, even though your phone is set to English, which uh, confuses, confuses some people and, well, I get that. So I'm going to show you how you can get rid of those, okay? So your phone is full in English. And then we go to the next steps. So um, what you need to do is you have to go to settings and then you have to go to more application manager and then you go on you tap here until you come to all okay and here are all the apps that you have installed on your beam 2 um, so what you need to do is you need to uninstall all the apps which have Chinese letters okay I already did that so I'm just giving you an example so let's say this is uh, has Chinese letters um, I would you have to tap on it and then you go on clear data and then uninstall okay so like that you uninstall step by step all the apps which have Chinese letters because those are the reasons why you get those notifications in Chinese and those pop-ups on your phone even though you set it to English all right so um, then if there are some apps which you want to get rid of let me put this a little bit put it a bit down. If there are um, apps which you want to get rid of but you cannot uninstall, you need to freeze them. And in order to freeze them, there is an app called App Quarantine. I already did a tutorial video about that app. You can find it as well in the video description below. I will give you the link for that. Okay, so the app is called App Quarantine. This is the symbol. You can find it on Google Play. It's free. I'm not going through it like a lot, just show you how you can quickly uh, freeze something. So this app basically, with that app you can uh, freeze um, or block an app which uh, starts up with the phone, okay? So if you cannot uninstall an app, you block it or freeze it, it's the same thing. So let's say um, you don't want, because the thing is when you uh, block or freeze an app, then um, it doesn't start up, that means it uh, doesn't cost you RAM, so your phone's performance, and you save battery life, which is positive. So let's say uh, the Androsip file manager is an app, uh, let's just assume it's a bloatware, okay, and this is the one you don't want, for example. You would just tick that box, click here, and like that you would freeze it and put it into quarantine, so that means it doesn't start up. And um, it will take a bit until the action is done and then 
if you click on quarantine you have a list of all the apps which you put in the quarantine list which are, are not starting up so for example apps like um, let me put this a little bit more down apps like um, backup customer service uh, more services news and weather this is all useless uh, for me uh, this bloatware which i don't want to start up so those are all the apps which i froze myself okay so let's unfreeze that because actually i need that um, now this is from the app site it can happen that um, you get after you did it it can happen that you got that you get uh, still a notification up uh, if you for example press a button let's say the home button that's at the very beginning actually and um, usually this notification it's i think it's only one or two um, this you can get rid of it permanently if you just tap the box and uh, you you tap on the middle uh, and it's just a confirmation i think of some um, some action that has to that one app wants for example but uh, it can happen this this doesn't come up at all if you just followed all my advice which i just gave you now the next step which we want to do is the sms app okay so if you want to use your phone in english um, the problem is that um, in the sms app there are chinese letters um, which can be pretty annoying so in order to get rid of that you have to set the messages fully to english okay the settings so you just open the messaging app as i just showed you here then you click on new message and then you click on the cog wheel here and then this is the setting that you have to have in order to get rid of all this chinese crap um, tap on english and choose this one qrt english then at select input language you have to disable those two okay so leave it exactly as i have it here and this you can leave this you have to disable okay as i have it here and this you untick all right so that's basically it after you have the settings as i just showed you um it will be all fine you will not have any um chinese letters here appearing or here so this is sorted now um the next thing is the language itself okay so um there is an app um, which let me turn on my wi-fi which you need if you want to uh, translate your phone into another language beside those three which come pre-installed with the phone that is english that is korean and chinese as we said before um the thing is that um that's why i named the video part um part translation uh, partly language because with that app you are not able to fully translate the operating system okay you can only translate it partly so the app which i mean is it's called more local Two. okay so you see that that's the name so you type in that then you come to this app more local Two. This is the one you need, which I already have installed. So you're going to download this app, all right? Then you click on open. Let me not confuse you. So we start from the very beginning. So when you download it, you will have the app will look like this, okay? When you download it for the the app will look like this, okay? When you download it for the first time. As you see here, the language is set to English. And um, those are the three languages which are installed on the Beam 2 in general. So if you want to add, let's say, German as another language to your phone, you tap on here, then you click on Add Local, and let's say I want to add German. So this would be Deutsch. Then you have to tap here, and then I choose German from the list here and I tap here in country and I choose where was it C Germany it's a little bit mixed up here I don't know why it's not alphabetical really but anyway um, down below Germany and you click on it okay now I have German or Deutsch here and I press it and as you can see 
it changes to Deutsch. So the language of the phone basically changed to Deutsch, to German. Uh, you can do that with many other languages, as you saw in that list, there are a lot of languages. Um, now, uh, the thing is, uh, you will get a notification when you install that app for the first time, asking you for super user permission, um, because you need root to have that app uh, running. Okay, so there will be the pop-up and you have to click on the left side, um, say that you want to grant the super user permission, that you want to use the super user uh, function uh, in order to make that app work. Okay, which I already did that, but I'm just telling you that this pop-up will come up. That's why I said it's uh, good that you follow first the tutorial, um, the root tutorial um, of the Beam 2, so you can proceed to this tutorial here. Okay, so uh, I have it set to German, and now here is the catch. Um, the whole language of the phone, or let's say part of it at least, um, will be still in English. Okay, you see it didn't ch change to German. But then, when you, for example, open the Play Store, it will change to German. So as you can see here, the language is here in German. Okay, um, same as if you do it French, uh, Spanish, whatever. Uh, it will change to the language you set it to. But the thing is, uh, that's why it's partly, that's why I called the video partly, it just translates partly the phone. So it translates the apps, but it doesn't translate things like uh, the interface here. So this you have to please keep in mind, okay? Um, this is what you can do from this side. Now, um, there is um, another method how to fully uh, have the phone set in the language you want, fully, not partly. And that, uh, the, that's a program which is called Android Language Project. Um, I will give you the link of that uh, program in the video description. Uh, it is a bit complicated, that program, um, so you can try it yourself. I tried it and, um, well, I, I didn't uh, follow up more because it's quite some work. With that program, you can basically translate all the, um, the whole um, language which you have here, for example. Uh, you can translate yourself and then you can upload to the phone. It's complicated. Um, Nonetheless, I will give you the link of that program in the video description and you can try it yourself. Now, you go to Google Play Store and then you search and what you need is an app, it's free by the way, called AnySoft Keyboard. So any soft key Okay, so you have to type in this, any soft keyboard, and um, then you hit the search button, and you have to install this app, any soft keyboard, okay, by, by, by many, uh, even Danan. Um, this is the first thing you need, this is the main app, and then, let's say you want to have a German keyboard, or Arabic, or Hebrew, or it doesn't matter, all you need to do is you type the language, or you make a space and you type the language next to any soft keyboard. So I make a space and I type in uh, German, okay? Because I want to have the German keyboard. You can do that with the French, Arabic, doesn't matter. Uh, so I typed in German and then I go on search. And here I have the German language pack. So you, if you want another language, you have to download the language pack, okay? Uh, which I already have installed. So the next step after you have uh, the language um, installed and downloaded, um, you need to go to settings. Then you have to go to my device. You go down and at languages and input, you have to activate that app. So you tap on it. Okay. You go here and you have to change it to any soft keyboard, all right? Now we have it set up here, and then when you click on the messaging app, you have the keyboard, the German keyboard. Same counts as with other languages as well, okay? So this is sorted from this side. Um, and yes, the last option to translate actually the language, um, I gave you all the options that there are now, um, is 
the ROM uh, that I would like to be created for this phone, which is the Cyanogen Mod 12 Lollipop version for the Samsung Galaxy Beam 2. I'm currently doing a fundraising at the moment. Um, I will give you that uh, link into the video description as well. If you want, you can donate for that project. And if the ROM uh, will be created, the Cyanogen Mod ROM, then it will have pre-installed a lot of languages, like any kind of language you would like to wish for, uh, even like exotic languages, Cyanogen Mod has pre-installed. So if I gather enough money for that to pay the developers for that ROM, for that Cyanogen Mod Lollipop ROM, then um, there will be a lot of languages um, you can choose from for your Samsung Galaxy Beam 2 without the need to install different apps on it, okay? It will work without any problems. So, um, that's it from my side. I hope, um, well, I covered the most uh, important things when it comes to languages on this phone, what you can do, what you can't do. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment box below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.